In this episode, we'll learn everything about running and debugging multiple projects at once in Visual Studio for Mac. If you've worked on, for instance, a Xamarin.Forms application within Visual Studio for Mac, you know that it can be quite a hassle to run your Android project, um, stop debugging, then switch to your iOS project, see if your changes also work on the iOS platform, um, then stop again to make more changes and switch back to Android, and so forth, etc., etc. Um, that can be very cumbersome. And I found out that you can set multiple startup projects just as you can on Visual Studio for Windows, uh, but on Visual Studio for Mac. So if we go to our solution, which is the top one right here, um, and we right click that, we can go to set startup projects. And here we can create what they call a run configuration. So we can give this run configuration a name. I will call this Android and iOS and click create run configuration. And it will create a run configuration here in the solution options. Um, and here I can simply check which projects need to run as part of this run configuration. So I want to run Android and iOS both at the same time. So I check these, click OK. And you can see it will activate here in the top bar our run configuration. Mine is called Android and iOS. Now, you could wonder how is it going to figure out which emulators or simulators to use. Um, if you look a little bit to your right, then here's the box where you would normally select your emulator or simulator. But now it has changed to the word multiple. If you click that, you can still per project configure which emulator and simulator to use. So for Android, it's going to be this one. For iOS, it's going to be this one. All is good. And now when you click run or you press F5, it will simply start building uh, your project as it normally would, but it will fire up your project on both the simulator and both the emulator that you have configured. Now for this example, I have configured it for iOS and Android, but of course this could also be a REST API together with uh, just your iOS project or your REST API and both your Android and iOS projects. The sky's the limit. And it's just as simple as that. I hope you found this little tip useful. Um, if you did, please like, subscribe, do all the things so you will be automatically notified whenever I put some new content on here.